Hey guys, Drax here with another quick tips and tricks video for Ark Survival Ascended. And in this one, I'll be teaching you guys how to fish like a pro. So the first thing we need to do is get you a good fishing rod. How are you going to do that? You're going to need to kill Alpha Squid or Alpha Mosasaur. Yes. Uh, Mosasaur, around 20% chance to get a fishing rod. And Alpha Squid, 100% chance. Now, you're going to see more Mosasaur than Squid on the island, so you're probably going to have to kill quite a few to get a good rod. See, fishing works like this. The level of the rod with its effectiveness times by the size of the fish equals the level of loot and the blueprints. If you have an ascendant rod with loads of effectiveness, even catching small fish will yield decent blueprints, but it's very tricky to get a high level rod. After a few hours looking for and killing Alpha Mosasaur, I ended up getting one Apprentice and one Journeyman Rod from one of the Alpha Moses. I then also got another Journeyman Rod from killing an Alpha Squid. Unfortunately, I did not get a better Rod during my time out, but I wanted to keep it real for you guys as to what you can expect. I'm pretty sure the better Alpha Squid or Moser you kill, the better Rod you can get, Obviously, with the squid always giving you the better chance. Now, you'll notice in the ocean, I mostly ride around on a bacillo as they are immune to shocks. And the, more importantly, the grab from the squid, they're immune. They can't be grabbed. An imprinted bread bacillo is the best way to go here for farming rods. It needs to be a good one too, as you have to be able to kill the alphas of the sea. It has to be able to do a lot of damage. If you need a guide for bacillo taming, drop a comment and I'll help you out. But simply put, you've got to get the mantas off of him, shoot one of them with a crossbow, or bite one, or even just start the tame and the mantas will go after you. Then kill all the mantas and then proceed to passively tame the bacillo. So with your bacillo ready to go, you're going to want to head to the depths of the ocean. And here are some alpha mosasaur and squid locations for you to check out. This is where I found them when I was swimming around. You can even sometimes find these alphas do spawn in the artifact cave on the east coast. And once again, make sure your tame is leveled up and preferably imprinted to kill stuff in here as there are loads of hostiles throughout. You're going to want a bacilla once again. After a little while of farming though, you should be able to get yourself a nice rod ready to reel in those blueprints. A simple trip to the swamp to kill leeches will get you some leech blood for bait and that will work for catching most size fish and you might want to stick with that but if you want another step up if you want to catch the biggest fish available you will need some honey now this means destroying beehives in the redwood and taming the queen that sometimes comes out you got to tame her with a rare flower you then go up to the queen press e or another button on the controller and that will convert her to a hive after taming and then you can place it down at your base Make sure to add rare flowers in the inventory and that will generate the honey inside. Now bug spray and or gilly gear are great for both taming the queen and harvesting the honey afterwards. You might want to even place one of these hives next to where you fish. Probably a little bit of a distance away. I'm not sure how it affects the spawn with the fish but having one close by so you can go back to your fishing spot, your favourite spot, might be a good idea. With that you are set to head out fishing. And here are some locations to try out. My favourite being the Redwoods River with the island in the middle. There's a little circular area there. There's quite a few saber-toothed salmon here and that's normally what I look for in the best spots. Now, several other good locations I will show on screen now. You can see there is quite a few and I might have missed some. So let me know in the comments if you have a favourite fishing spot on the island and you can't see it circled here. Also, I do want to give one final important mention to the red circled fishing area on my map. This is the ice artifact cave, probably the hardest cave on the island. And just inside at the first stream area, the water there, it's infested with fish. There are absolutely loads of them here and of a good size too. The only thing is you will need to have cave building turned on for your server, but this is by far the best spot in game once you clear out all the crazy high level cave animals just around the stream area. Then you're good to go and you'll be able to fish there. But you will need that good tame to kill all those high level cave animals. 
wolves are going to be pretty good. They don't have a saddle, so they can't take as much damage, but take a few wolves down with you. They can actually fit through the entrance and get back out with ease. And you should be able to, with a good pack, you should be able to kill everything inside. And it should be nice. They should be able to protect you when you're fishing. So yeah, any of those spots will work. Simply place a bench or a chair or sit on the back of a Pelagornis and then cast away. Wait until a fish gets hooked, then simply follow the on-screen prompts to reel in those blueprints. Do note though that fishing rods break after a certain amount of use and they can't be repaired. So if your rod has broke, you will need to head back into the seas to kill more alpha squids or alpha moses to get more. And with that guys, that is the fishing guide. Hopefully it does help you out. Make sure to like if you found this video helpful or entertaining. Sub for more and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.